Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Munga de Soraka. Welcome to my channel. This is uh, about what who you don't see coming. And this reading can be yours if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. If you are new to my channel, I use two different decks mixed up here. The Goddess of the Moon. No, the Queen of the Moon. I always mix this up. And um, the Hidden Words Oracle. And the way I do it is whatever show up at the bottom of the deck is your current energy. And what falls out is what you don't see coming. Oh, you already have... The answers number four could be significant 44 as well angels could be around you trying to help you move forward Virgo so the bottom of the deck is fate and uh, you are showing up in this beautiful energy of almost like an empress someone who is pregnant with ideas with uh, I don't know, some projects, uh, some, something is about to show up in the physical world that you were growing inside of you um, energetically for a long time. For some of you, it could be actual pregnancy, but I feel it's more about the process of um, birthing something into light. And the full moon showing up there, the full moon in March is on the 25th. Uh, so there could be something happening around that time that you are planning to birth into life. Um, we also have the Spirit Whisperer, Divine Guidance, Higher Knowing. So you are following your intuition, listening to your inner guidance. And the Wise Woman of Wonderland, Integrity Compromise, number 21. So we've got two threes and two fours on the table. So 33, 44 could be significant to you. Um, this is very interesting. It's like uh, your higher self is watching you, um, sending you messages through the owl um, inner wisdom owl could be your spirit animal this is all beautiful wisdom faith inner knowing divine guidance so virgo you are in a very very good place now what you don't see coming is the resting tree patience and stillness now i know this is not virgo's um, strong suit being patient <laughs> and still so it's 22 2 and 2 this is about inner uh, work like connecting with your inner self and also creating balance in the outer world so you kind of created the the foundation for that already and now what you are surprised to see is instead of that birth happening straight away what you were planning there is rest and uh, patience and stillness so it's like some uh, maybe something feels like it came to a halt like nothing is happening after so many things happened and um, this could throw you off a little bit uh, we've got discernment number 10 and also creation number 39 i like that peace 28 so these number 10s are very significant 2 plus 8 is 10 1 plus 0 is uh, uh, 10 turning into 1 so a completion and a new beginning and this is part of a creative process this is exactly what this card suggests, that things are going to change. Like when actually a baby is born, the life of the woman never will be the same again, ever. So it's like this stillness. It is like um, the quiet before the storm. It's a good storm. Uh, could be this creative storm creating something, birthing something into 
the physical I feel that this is what you don't expect this this stillness this patience but you can meditate you can find your inner balance so that could be something that will move the creative process forward so it's more about being in the right energy than doing all the things so rest stillness these are your mantras right now so let's look into this a little bit deeper what is this patience stillness this resting tree is about now if we are talking about the love connection here which actually doesn't feel like one i know i am doing love readings but this is more like about birthing something into life uh, maybe moving into a house that you always wanted to or um, finding the right job or taking your business to the next level i don't know some uh, pretty much everything but love showed up so far so i'm very interested to see whether we will have any clarity in the love area here about this patience yeah we've got the turning point so something is definitely inevitably uh, sorry changing and this one is the chariot you are moving forward although right now it feels like time stands still but you are moving forward you are moving out of the dark into the light giving birth to something which is not visible but you worked through it you healed yourself you created your dreams you do your law of attraction uh, rituals and uh, soon you are going to see them in your physical reality yeah an era is finishing a brand new one is starting this is the world card it's a capricorn energy and the, the chariot is cancer energy so yeah this is what you are not expecting because you are so used to like pushing and doing and what's next what's next what's next and then like okay this is peace and quiet what what's wrong what's happening it's it's crucial to witness the end of an era and the birth of a new one and that's what you are moving through right now can we see in love what it means frozen balancing grief okay so in regards to love there is a situation which ended and you are letting it go this is done it's it's for good four of cups this is called frozen in this deck it could be that someone rejected you and you were freezing your emotions try to repress them and then comes the balancing which is the justice card it is about uh, finding a new balance in your life without that person now and that's why it's so much focusing on everything but love this reading because this person is gone and energetically is going so you are still feeling them possibly but you are getting out of the dark woods into the light uh, letting it go moving on yeah okay so what is this four of cups about passion six of cups yeah someone who you felt deep love towards someone who you were very passionate about and there is the unknowable this is the high priestess you could be dealing with libra cancer capricorn and cancer again 
so far. So a person who you thought you will be happy with rejected you and uh, now you are like I have no idea what is going to happen but I am letting it go giving it to the universe and if it's meant to be it will be if it's not it's fine so you are really out of this getting out of this very deep emotional hurt what else we can know about this so the the surprise here in love is um, the fact that finally you can let this go you are surprising yourself because it is such a deep love it was such an important person in your life. You never thought you can let them go. And now you are doing it and uh, surprising yourself like, okay, I'm, I'm feeling lighter today. I am feeling better. And um, it's in a weird way, this um, a pregnant woman here uh, is, is about letting go also. Like uh, when the time comes, the baby just slips out and, and it's, it's letting go in a sense. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I am going to ask the Rune Oracle about this new stillness and peace that you found within. What do we need to know about this? Okay, we've got Otila. This is about family, family values, your identity, and it is uh, connected to the full moon. <laughs> I was talking about that full moon. So around the 25th of March, full moon in Libra, something is going to shift, change. And this is a card of ancestors and traditions as well as nobility and inheritance. So um, I'm going to clarify this card. We've got millions of cards showing up here. Yeah. Okay, so the clarity that is coming to you, Virgo, is about this new beginning. That you went through hell, literally, and you rebirthed yourself. You came out of this very difficult period of time, which could have been challenging in love, in finances, at work, in family, in every way in your life. And this self-confidence, this eight of wands, is now uh, allowing you to hold that key which was buried deep inside. And um, this is the eight of pentacles, the ace of swords, and the hanged man. So as you are putting in the work, working with your emotions, healing, the clarity is really there. So you are seeing yourself more clearly. You are polishing parts of you and you are becoming this diamond. Searching for the next step. And... Uh, observing, scrutinizing what can be done and uh, becoming the king of pentacles. Uh, this someone who is abundant and uh, don't need to rely on anyone.
So I feel this card of tradition and ancestors and family values and your identity. I feel that you finally found the way. Honoring your ancestors, working through your ancestral patterns, peeling off what is not your energy anymore. Your ancestors are very grateful for you to do that work. And now you are released from that duty. So your blood family, your earthly family, it still could mean a lot to you. But you are now birthing yourself, the new self, into life, which is more spiritual, it's more of the unknowable. So this birth could be your very own rebirth. Yeah. You went through the fire. You grew your wings. You see yourself for who you truly are. That's absolutely amazing. So you could also be dealing with an Aquarius, a Pisces. Yeah, the rest we already went through. And um, this uh, power, which is the bottom of the deck, this is the King of Swords. It is you stepping into your power. So the significant energies here are these the high priestess the fool the eight of wands and the king of swords so you are following your intuition that allows you to go on a higher level to restart to rebirth yourself uh, to find out who you truly are and um, stand in your power wow so you are, you are getting there. The stillness, patience, peace, creation is part of the process. Yeah, you are done with your ancestral death and you are now flying high. This will be a brand new chapter cycle in every way and in regards to love you let go of your person fully amazing so Virgo what you don't see coming is this uh, quiet before the storm this um, brand new timeline you are shifting into and um, it's truly beautiful. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to continue this on Patreon. Maybe we could dig out more about this love energy here, which is hardly present. And, um, and see what else is showing up. I look forward to seeing you on Patreon or in the extended. Take care. Bye for now.